What's going on, you guys? Today is going to be a little bit different. I won't be cutting hair today just because, yeah, I kind of kind of messed up my arm. So we won't have a hair cutting tutorial today. But I do want to talk to you guys about something else. I want to let you know five things you need to know before you walk into a barber shop and get your hair cut. This is really important. This will help us cut your hair exactly how you want it. I'll note this, you have really straight hair and you show us a picture of someone who has really curly hair, that's, uh, that's kind of hard to do. Make sure you grab a picture of someone who has the like, same hair texture. A lot of the times I have pictures to show clients on Pinterest. That's a really, really good app that has amazing haircuts on there. All you have to do is just search up men hairstyle. Once you find that, it helps us know how to style your hair and how you want it cut because it matters a lot. This helps us find out if you want a zero on the side or you completely want to stay away from something like that. Sometimes the picture shows us kind of a length on the side of that person, but we still need to know what you guys would like because the same hairstyle in the picture that you showed us in the previous tip has a certain hair number on the side and you might want it shorter or you might want it longer because it might not look the same on you. So knowing that number on the side would help out a lot. And I've made like what the numbers mean in the past. So I'll put the video up here so you guys can check that out. If you guys want to check that out first and watch this after or finish this video and then watch that. But it's right there. It also applies back to the first picture. Cutting the top is a little bit tricky because our hair lays differently. You remember that Calic I was telling you guys about? Our hair lays differently than everybody else. And if it doesn't lay the way the picture shows, that the, or the haircut shows, the hairstyle that you guys showed us, then you would have to customize a certain way. As in like, you can go extremely long because it won't lay down or you can go shorter because your hair lays out a lot better. So these are the things that you can do if you have a better hair texture on top or how much to cut off. I don't mean by like, oh, two inches off or one inches off. You can say that as a guess of what measurement is, kind of like, uh, just cut half an inch or like, you know, a quarter of an inch or something like that. Simple things like that helps out than if you were just saying, oh, just a little bit off. but my little bit might be different than your little bit and that can be com super confusing. So make sure you just stay like around that amount, like half an inch, a quarter of an inch, one inch, things like that. So then we're kind of in the same, you know, same idea. This one only relates to your sideburns or your neckline. When I ask square, round or taper, that's the neckline because you can't really round off the sideburns. That would look really weird. For the sideburns, it's either square or tapered. Make sure you want it square there or the blend. That's what I mean about square or taper. And then the neckline, there's those three options. Square, round, or taper. Taper is the one that blends in. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll also put it up here, right there. Fade versus taper. You'll like that video. Don't say a trim, as in, can I just get a trim? Or this, my other favorite one is, I just want a little bit off. Things like that doesn't make sense to us barbers. It might make sense to you because you just want a certain amount off and you stay as a trim or a little bit off. And that's your definition of a little bit or a trim. For us, we might think you only want that much off. Just, just that much. That's it. That's for me, that's a little bit. This is a little bit. And then a trim would be like that much. Hey, welcome to the barbershop. What can I get for you? I just want a trim. Okay, trim it is. This is kind of how you want it. Still a little bit long. Can I get a little bit more off? Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I guess this would do. I think 
It's a little, a little bit long, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. You sure? You want me to cut a little bit more off? Or... Sure. Yeah. Let's cut a little bit more off. See what I mean? We can go back and forth, cutting a little bit more off because my little bit is different than your little bit, and it's going to cause so much problems. So do us all a favor and just say half an inch or even better, show us, like pull your hair up and be like, I want that much off. That would work too. You just say, true, we can be at this forever. And I've done it before. I'm going back to a client's haircut and I've cut it multiple times just because my trim is different than their trim. What's even crazier is that I've had someone ask for a trim or a little bit off and they take about two inches off. All right, you guys, I hope you guys like these tips. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave it in the comment below and I'll help answer them the best I can. These tips right here are meant for you guys to make your life easier and your barber's life easier. If you know these five things or four out of these five things, it'd be amazing because all these tips are very important. These things are what changes your haircuts dramatic. My name is Andy Tran. Catch you guys in the next video and hopefully I'm back in the barbershop by then. If not, I'll see you back here. Peace out.